So this is courtesy of the Friday Kids. Somebody clipped this from my guy, the MMA guru, who I'm a big fan of, actually. I've watched a few of his live streams before. I haven't watched one in a while, but um, I actually am a big fan of his, and he's, his flipping output is absolutely insane. It feels like every time I'm, I'm, on, I'm on YouTube late at night, he's always flipping live streaming. So big up him for putting, you know, for consistency and just putting himself out there all the bloody time. And generally kind of being kind of clued up on what he does personally, I think. I'm, I'm a fan of it. I know some people on the internet not really like what he does, but I like him personally. Um, and he actually breaks down cards which is nice to see he actually watches previous fights which is nice to see it doesn't just go by wikipedia and whatnot but he had a very interesting comment that he made here that someone clips and finally gets up there which i thought was really um uh smart and very insightful in terms of what's going on with the podcast with podcasting in general and what's been going on with the fight companion and that whole scene overall this is the mma guru's thoughts on it i thought it's very 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 smart thing what he said here and you can see how much he cares about the UFC at the moment. Because I'm like, oh my god. It's the reason I started Fight Companions in general back in the day. Because I remember being like in the UK thinking, oh god, okay, he's gone live for a Fight Companion. Maybe I can hear the fight being described. This is before I even knew about the streams and the links here and there. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, maybe I can hear the fight being described. Oh, no, they're talking about the intricacy of stand-up comedy and why being a comedian is so important in society and why being a comedian is one of the hardest jobs in the world and why being a comedian causes ego death <laughs> and leads you not to have an ego and why comedians are the most impressive people in the entire world. Like, it's like, he's not even watching the fights. And you, you Yeah, I agree with him what he's saying. Um, I think... Also, you should say why his accent sounds fake. <laughs> his, his accent sounds fake. Probably he's got he's got one of those kind of like um, international school students. No, he's got the accent of a kid that kind of visits their family in America a few times and comes back. Like it's that kind of thing where you go back and forth. So your accent like has this weird sort of twang to it. Maybe that's why. Um, kind of internationally school type of thing. But anyway. I think he's got a lot of good points where he makes you. But I think overall, I think the issue that people have, I've had this off myself with um, with uh, the fight companions is this. I think at, f at its fundamental level, I feel like the fight companion worked when you liked everybody on the show. I think, unfortunately, especially for Brian Cannon and Brendan Shaw, they've become so unlikable over time. It sort of tainted that show because I remember beforehand, even when Brendan was still unlikable, there was a period in time where some people would argue, even on the Final Kids subreddit, they would say that Brendan's actually at his best when he's doing a fight companion because they all kind of like, you know, poke fun at each other. No one's a butt of the jokes. He's not kind of ragdolling the interviews and stuff. Like he's actually, you know, a part of a good show that people are taking a piss out of him as well. And he's kind of like one of the boys and he kind of presents himself in the best possible light there. And obviously Brian Kellen will be the comedic relief and shit and Eddie Bravo saying the crazy shit. It actually kind of worked in terms of a balance of a show. Over time, once they become, once some people in the group became more unlikable, the balance completely got thrown off. And of course, when Brian Cannon got accused of the rape stuff and Rogan pretending like he didn't exist, and then suddenly he comes back on the show as a fight companion, you could tell the vibes weren't right again. So clearly the relationship between all four of those guys on the show is definitely not what it was. And that's what I think leads to the show not being good and you don't want to watch it anymore and because i remember in the past i was at like mma guru i'd probably i'd usually watch the show on some mute the sorry the ufc card on mute and then have the fight companion playing in the background but nowadays i'd much rather listen to the sh listen to the fights um you know the commentary or maybe have it on mute and have music playing or some or some podcast or whatever i'm watching and just watch themselves because i feel like overall even the most casual UFC fans, I feel like everyone's knowledge of the sport has kind of increased over the years. Everyone's kind of become a little bit more knowledgeable. And with the amount of really great podcasts out there that really break down fights, that really break down cards and whatnot, there's many people out there where you can go to if you want to get that analytical sort of like information on fights and stuff. You don't really go into it. You're not really going for that sort of stuff too rogan even even brendan shaw but even though he's a former fighter he's not even you know able to do that thing anymore so the need for that show doesn't really exist as much as it probably needed to in the past so the kind of that sort of stuff of it is waned a little bit but it's also a shame that just as a product itself it's just not good when they get back together again it just isn't the same vibe anymore 
And that's the only thing that's kind of become a bit sad about the whole cancellation of Brian and Chris and all those kind of guys, how it negatively affected that whole side of things. Because clearly they're not friends anymore, um, the way they once were before. But no one's obviously acknowledging it because they kind of have to keep up appearances. And I'm sure the Brendan Schaub thing of like, you know, the dick slinging, cons you know, conversation thing that he said about Rogan as well, that didn't help things. But I think for, at a fundamental level, to conclude it, the relationship between all four of them has changed to the point where the show isn't fun because they clearly aren't friendly as they were pre prior before they're just doing it to kind of clock in clock out type of thing they're not they don't actually want to hang out with each other anymore um that's the main issue that they're probably having and that's why a lot of fans aren't really connected with the show as much as they were before in the past unfortunately and of course brendan's version of it is garbage in my opinion i don't think it's as good as well at all because part of the magic of the main fire the kid on joe rogan experience was that they were all friends when brennan's just getting randoms on and trying to get them on to kind of add to the views and add to the engagement and shit it just doesn't work anymore and it just kind of is what it is it's just not the same and the vibes are completely gone and um i don't really think we've kind of missed out or lost anything to be fair there's enough mma content out there to keep you occupied so if you really do miss out on it then you know just watch their guys individual podcast i don't really need the fight companion anymore in my opinion i think that time is completely gone for that kind of thing to be basically existing so you know fuck that 